I was down at my good friend Olivia Omers' event. It's called Model Volleyball. It's in Miami every year. And I came across a lovely girl I did an interview with, and her name was Victoria <laughs> Fresh, V-E-S-H, Fresh, no, like V-E-S-C. V-E-S-C-E, but spelled pronounced vesh like well, that's fresh. the country way to say it i mean in italy you say vecce but i thought it was vecce yeah Italian. i mean you can do it okay. the italian version. i met the lovely victoria and i was asking women all about what they're looking for in a man how important is money to a man what would you ever date a broke guy like if he was hot like these types of questions so let's play a little snippet of that and then on the other side we'll have a conversation so how important is a man's income let's make sure the volume works it has to be a, the same her. or more no. as mine, as long as you're not homeless. Homeless guys need not apply. <laughs> I think more important, like, There's what you. is my income? I need a man to match my level of success. I'm not going to say money doesn't matter because it definitely does. I'm like a family woman, and I feel like if you want to have a family, you have to, like, have some type of income. I have my own money, but money is this close to oxygen. You really need it to breathe. Cool. Uh, by the way, uh, leave. We're doing super chats at the yes. end of the show. Yes. Let's let's keep that going, and we want to get your comments. But uh, the lovely Victoria, um, you know, most women said it was very important the money, but you said, quote unquote, more important than a man's income is what's my own income, right? I need a man to match my <clears throat> level of success. So I'll ask you this again: How important is a man's income to you? I mean, it's important in terms of who will be like my partner because mm -hmm. it's going to be hard if a man has a lesser income than me because talk going back to masculine and feminine energy, those lines become blurred. And then at the same time, like I want to have a partnership like I don't want to have to take care of someone like I, they probably don't want to have to take care of me all the time. I'm more of like, OK, let's have a fruitful partnership and mm -hmm. like and grow together. And that's what my mom and dad did. And that's like what I saw growing gotcha. up. So, so you're following your parents example. Yes. And they had a what? A, what type of business together? Or partnership? Um, they did a lot of like international real estate, real estate. My mom was a boss, babe. Like my mm -hmm. dad is still the boss. So um, my mom unfortunately passed away last year. But uh, so they were together for a. Uh, almost 40 years and so really? they had a really healthy happy marriage wow. they travel the world so together they set a good example for they set a good example daughter yeah did they nice. do real estate together or was yeah it, oh, they okay. did they did my mom had her own company at first and then mm -hmm. and then they came together so nice um, yeah I'm, I'm just following what i grew was like raised and uh, sometimes it doesn't work though <laughs> nine times out of ten when i see what my friends they like rely on a man or a man relies on a woman too much and that's when everything just falls apart you're saying nine mm -hmm. times out of ten when one of your friends relies on a man what happens it falls apart why yeah. are they married well i've had some friends who've almost been married so engaged mm -hmm. or very like live together and <laughs> the they relied on the man so much they, they lost their own identity what we're talking about they lost their own like income and they didn't like focus on themselves and now hmm. I have like a friend who's kind of like out cold in the middle of Hawaii, like trying to rebuild herself because she relied on a man so much. Damn, well, so, if she's in Hawaii. She's I mean, not Hawaii is not a bad. Yeah, oh, I'm out cold in the middle of Hawaii. It's, it's like, not a bad place to be, be right, but baby. that's like one example of like so many of my friends lately. Got it. Melissa, uh, how important is a man's income to you? Uh, to me, it's extremely important. I I married a broke guy, and I'll never do that again. Hmm. Uh, and I was the breadwinner in the relationship. Um, you know, and then um, after that, you know, I've, I've dated successful men after that. So and you mentioned this earlier that and you said that you're the more the masculine boss of that relationship in, in my marriage in yeah. that in the marriage 10 yeah. years ago. And that you said he felt emasculated and that's why he cheated on you. Uh huh. Well, okay, according so to what he said. Mind you, I met him when when I was 21 mm -hmm. um, and he was seven years older than me. OK. <laughs> Um, but, but you yeah, were still you, the you, boss in that relationship and he I, was older? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, yeah what's, that. That, what's that little money sign? <laughs> I'm right just there? like, hey, oh, she's like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I just made sure I never dated another broke guy ever in my life again. So what are the disadvantages of dating the broke guy? <sighs> um, a lot. Mm. <laughs> they mm -hmm. can't afford to take you on vacation. They can't afford you to take you to dinners. You're paying for everything. They can't afford you, you know, to buy you a nice gift. You know, they can't afford you to afford to take you to nice hotels and they can't afford to buy your first house. I bought the cars. I bought the mm -hmm. houses like, 
you know? Um, so, so yeah, that won't happen again. So, and you would not date a guy, um, if he's not doing well financially, nope, just not even going to happen. Not even. So that's nope. like red flag. You might meet a guy that's Hell yeah. tall, good looking, nope. sexy, Never great. Again. That was him. Never again. And just no. How about the same yeah. way? Like, would you want to date a girl that's in like a horrible financial spot? And that, yeah. And all she has well, is looks. <laughs> You're asking <laughs> me horrible. what my opinion on that? Yeah. Yes. Would you want to date a girl Got, that's in a horrible financial spot? I've done that. What are you talking <laughs> about? Guys do that all yeah, the time. Listen, and that didn't work out. So. Well, not because I needed her to get a better job. It just didn't work out. But guys and women, men and women have very different But I interests. think it's the same like in like, a general concept. Like, you you got to understand something, someone. ladies. Yeah. Men, <laughs> we, we, we don't care. Yeah. Men don't. <laughs> care. We don't care. Like, <laughs> I beg like to differ. Men don't care what your career is. They don't. They want. I did this the other day. First and foremost, men are want to like what they see with their eyes. Okay, yep. facts. Like, I heard you saying this recently. Okay. Actually, you go videos, on a fucking yeah. dating app, right? And yeah. I've just started to do this. I don't really do. I haven't done it for till COVID, right? I'm like, all right. Gotta give it a shot somehow. <laughs> and all you're doing is, yeah, I like that. Nope, I don't. I'm not like, well, you know, she's a lawyer and, you know. But that's could. an initial, like, chemistry. <laughs> Correct, but that's initial. Boom. But then if that's you're talking the about serious. Thing. Okay, so yeah. then second, second is, what's her demeanor? She's lovely. She's pleasant. Yeah. She's cool. She's funny. She's quirky. She, I like it. Whatever. All the personality stuff, all that. Mm. And then third, oh, she happens to be a... Fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. Men aren't like, dude, I met this girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's actually a psychiatrist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Bro. I actually have look? a lot of guys like yeah. who come to me and they're like, wow, you graduated law school. That's so hot. Like you're successful. That's so hot. Like you have your shit together. This is game. Because so you're hot, hot Victoria. Yeah, this yeah. Is if you were a I busted know, lawyer, like, they'd be like, they next. Don't wanna, yeah. They don't want to go with their looks because then that's too obvious. Yes. Shallow. They got to stand out. Now, what that's I will nice, say is... I just I, don't think it would work out if like, she was a financial disaster. You would be like, oh, great. If, yeah, if she had like a spending problem, maybe, you know, you could have some issues there. Bingo. And we're talking about like... Mm -hmm. see that being an issue. Long term. Yeah. We're not if talking about little if physical she's a attraction. spender... And, and she's not and she doesn't, transparent about it either. You just hit the nail on the head, yeah. bro. If she's like... In the red pill community, they use the word compliant. I'll just say sweet, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> if she's sweet and supportive and all that... You'll deal with it. But if she's not bringing home the bacon and wants to spend all your money as a guy, that's a major red flag. Mm -hmm. I've dealt with that before. Okay. But it's different. Men are more visual. And women are turned on by their ears. Things that guys say. Mm -hmm. Being a gentleman. Hi, may I get the door for you? Oh, you look <laughs> lovely tonight. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.